Next category, we have trainer of the year. All right, here I'm going to throw a, I'm going to throw one that's off the radar. Uh, Bo Mack would be the easy one to pick, and I have no problem. Bo Mack, I love him. He's always got his fight. Him and his team, they all do a good job, but he's always got his guy ready to fight the right fight. Always, and I notice it. Yep. Doesn't get missed on Teddy Atlas. I notice it. Always know what to do. The style, the the approach. He, his charges are always ready to fight the right fight. And so Bo Mack, of course, trains the pound for pound number one fight in the world. Crawford, who I think is number one in the world, along with in a way. They're interchangeable, the two of them. But anyway, he trains Crawford, who took apart Spence. Uh, and and then he also took over the training of Eubank across the pond. I love That's you right. guys across the pond. Happy New Year, by the way. Uh, he took over the training of Eubank for his rematch with uh, Liam Smith after Smith had, had won their first fight, had stopped him. And, and yep. what happens? He flips it around, and Eubank dominates the fight. So he did a great job. He also has the 9-0 and prospect, Keyshawn Davis, who's a silver medalist oh, yeah. from the Olympics. Uh, he's also training him. So, look, Bo Mack easily could be train of the year. But I'm going to go a little, a little off the, you know, off radar, like I said, off the ranch a little bit. And I'm going to give it to Inouye's father, Shingo Inouye. How could he not be recognized at some point for doing the job he does with his son? And he's also got another son. I was hoping that's where and, you and, were going. Yeah, with Ken. That one, and and for I the people so. out there, for the people out there that are gonna say he only has one fighter, he's also got another son who's a top fighter. I think he's fighting for a world title soon. He's also got another time, not as good as anyway. Who could be as good as anyway? Uh, you know, the the one I'm talking about. But No, yeah. Uh, he's got another son who's, I think it'll be fighting for a title, who's very good. And who reminded me of that was my partner on Pro Box, uh, one of my partners on Pro Box, Paulie Malinati, who does a brilliant job. And and Chris Algieri, they, they do a brilliant job. But anyway, he reminded me of that. And so he do not have just one fighter. He, he And even if he had only one, I don't care. He deserves to be thought about for trade of the year, just like just the like brother, the brother, the brother's name is Takuma Inoue, and he's got the WBA bantamweight title. There it is. He got the title already, and and then I didn't think he had it. I thought he was fighting for it, so he has it. And now he reminds me. The father reminds me of Lomachenko's father, studious guy. Matter of fact, I'm going to go deeper. Studious guy, obviously. Uh, very cerebral, very very good with technique and everything, preparation. Uh, reminds me of Lomachenko's father, who also won train of the year one time, but deservingly so. And he only trains one fighter. For those who want to argue with me about the merit of giving it to a guy with one fighter. <laughs> but I, I'm going to say something that, that my man Ken's going to love. Really, Ken, you're going to love it. Shingo Inoue's father is a great marathon runner. He he's in his forties, oh, and he can he has show you how great you are. You have run a marathon under two hours and thirty minutes, like two twenty eight, right? Somewhere in that neighborhood. Yes. Well, his, yep. his best time is a little less than yours. Not quite as good as yours. He's younger than you too, but but it's an unbelievable time. It's like two twenty nine, whatever it is. It's, 229.12. He ran that in 2013 at the Katsuta. See what Marathon. you learn here, Ken? You uh, learn a lot here. It's you crazy. learn a lot here. You learn more than just boxing. And not only that, but you're going to love this even better, Ken. He has run in those ultra marathon, ultra iron, uh, iron races, whatever the hell. Ultra marathon. Uh, yeah. He ran 100 kilometers in 70205. What is that? So 100 That's kilometers, 100, 62 I miles. Mean, he has. 62-ish. Uh, so he's running those kind of Ironman, you know, type races, ultra marathons, races where you're running hundreds of miles. Um, By the way, 229.12 for a marathon. Now, this was 10 years ago for him, so maybe he was in his 30s, but 229.12 wins the majority of the marathons that are ever run in the world. We think of it because 
because we see the Boston, New York, where they're running close to two hours, we think that that's the, what the winning time is. But if you go and run the, uh, I won the Myrtle Beach Marathon in 230. 25 but 229 12 would win 90 percent of the marathons run in the world that is a freaking fast time that's basically 540 per mile for 26 miles so 42 kilometers whatever it is for the uh europeans that's fast that's real Listen, fast. i had to bring that up i'm to to especially in your wheelhouse i knew that you would you would be moved by that you would be you know you'd be awakened by that and and <laughs> Look a little deeper in that computer, Ken. I think he ran a crazy race like you did in the desert one time. I think he ran one of yeah. these crazy races that was like over 100 miles. Do you see something there? It was some kind of crazy race. And he, he won the Tour de Taiwan Ultramarathon in April 2013 with a time of one, 109 hours and 25 minutes so i'm guessing that he did like a multi-day race yeah it was at a time that's what it says but i'm maybe i'm reading it wrong but it looks like that's what it is no no you're not i think it was over 100 miles yeah all right that's next on my list of things to do we're winning it we're gonna win a 100 mile race this year for the fight at, for the fight with teddy there atlas is. team race 100 miles every race i do i think of as a team race I represent my people every well, time I run, including as well. the fans, whether they believe it or not. So any argument we're giving it to in a way, especially after that, Ken. Uh, I, <laughs> uh, I don't think they're... I'm going to give it to him for 24, too. And I'm going to... Yeah. And I'm going <laughs> to... I thought you would. And I'm going to I'm gonna give another honorable mention out there besides, you know, I mentioned Bomack, which is very deserving. Um I'm going to give another one to Andy Lee, the former world champion who trains yep. uh, undefeated prospect Patty Donovan and also trains, of course, uh, Joe Parker, who just pulled off an enormous upset uh, with Wilder. So I'm going to put him in there. <laughs> <laughs> 